As daylight broke, the full extent of the damage that the wrecked Costa Concordia suffered after capsizing off the coast of Italy was revealed. In a 19-hour operation, which ended at 4 a.m. on Tuesday, the 114,000-tonne ship was pulled upright by a series of huge jacks and cables. It's now been left to rest temporarily in 30 metres of water on underwater platforms drilled into the rocky seabed. Now, what happened was all, most of the damage has happened already. So in the last, so from when she first came to rest though, until now, the damage you see is actually from her weight just moulding itself around those rocks. So all the noise and the main structural damage that happened in February, March of last year. So we were expecting it to be harder to tear it off, but actually she came off quite nicely. The vessel will remain in place for some months while it's stabilised and refloated before being towed away to be broken up for scrap.